properly sized expansion tank, water pressure could cause leaks and even complete ruptures in your system, as some of you may know. So after watching this video, you'll know exactly what model to get and which size that's perfect for your piping. So there are several types of expansion tanks depending on your needs for your system. Domestic hot water plumbing systems generally use Amtrol's Thermex Troll expansion tanks. For radiant and hydronic heating systems, there's tanks like these. This is the Amtrol's x -Troll. there's a Radiant x -Troll. and this is the Fill Troll expansion tank. There's other options like the Califactio HGT30, the Watts ETX, or the BNG HFT series and I'll go over these in detail a little later. Purchasing an expansion tank should be based on two factors. The first is your heater or boiler's capacity in gallons. This information is on your water heater label or boiler's factory label. This is important if you use an expansion tank in a closed loop system. And for hydronic and radiant heating applications, the system pressure never exceeds 30 psi. The second factor is finding out your water pressure in psi. And for plumbing applications, this can be found through placing a small gauge somewhere in your system to see the water pressure. And another way is just to call your water supply company and they should tell you what your water pressure is. If the expansion tank you purchase is smaller than what your system requires, then the excess pressure from the expanding hot water can cause relief valve discharge, which is better to avoid. On the other hand, there's no problem with having an expansion tank that's larger than what your system requires. So if you're unsure that your system may accommodate your needs safely, it's best practice to just buy one that's one size larger than what you're supposed to require. And like I said before, domestic hot water plumbing systems use Amtrol's Thermex Stroll expansion tanks, which are factory charged with 40 pounds of pressure and are NSF approved for use with potable water applications. So before you make your purchase, you're going to match your system's PSI with your water heater size in gallons. For example, if you're purchasing an expansion tank for a residential application and you have an 80 gallon water heater with 60 pounds of pressure, you should purchase an ST8 expansion tank. For heating applications, extra expansion tanks are used far more frequently than filtral tanks, but the only difference really is that filtral tanks include a specially designed pressure reducing valve, which you see right here, and extra tanks require a separate valve. This chart shows how to size a filtral tank. Simply match the boiler output with the type of heating and you'll find which model to purchase. Calfactio HDT expansion tanks are a cost effective alternative to Amtrol Xtrol, Watts ETX, and BNG HFT tanks. Radiant Xtrol tanks are for open loop heating systems or systems with high levels of dissolved oxygen and water. So, Radiant Xtrol tanks are usually used in closed loop radiant heating systems. And they're also used in snow melting applications often. With radiant extra expansion tanks, another factor to consider in sizing them is the size and length of the tubing you're using. You can use this chart to find out what model to get. So if you're wondering how to size an expansion tank, hopefully now you know. And you can definitely go back in the video and pause for any of those charts to reference them if you're shopping for an expansion tank. Or follow the link below and it'll bring you to a full page of expansion tank information. So if you liked the video and found it helpful, press like, subscribe to the channel because we're coming out with a lot more videos that are helpful for home improvement and plumbing.